Glendale, Arizona, the Indians ended spring training with a thud on Sunday at Camelback Ranch. Not only did they lose to the White Sox, 7-3, they watched all-star third baseman Jose Ramirez get carted off the field in the third inning after fouling a ball off his left leg. Ramirez suffered a bruised left knee, but x-rays were negative. The Indians are already opening the regular season without shortstop Francisco Lindor and second baseman Jason Kipnis. They'll start the year on the injured list with calf strains. Ramirez was facing Chicago's Sean Nolan when he fouled the pitch off his leg. Your heart goes in your throat when you see it, said manager Terry Francona. Our doctors and Lonnie Saloff, vice president of medical services, came over here and picked him up and took him for x-rays. They were negative. Francona said Ramirez will stay in Arizona and get treatment at the team's training facility in Goodyear. The Heel joined the team Wednesday or Thursday in Minneapolis for the season opener. Shane Bieber made his sixth and final start of the spring, allowing three runs on six hits and five innings. He struck out six, walked two and threw two wild pitches. Bieber, 2-2-2, 2.25, finished with 29 strikeouts and four walks in 24 innings. The White Sox took a 3-0 lead against Bieber with three runs in the third. Bieber wild pitched one run home and gave up RBI singles to Elroy Jimenez and Larry Garcia. Chicago made it 4-0 when Adam Engel homered off Neil Ramirez in the sixth. They added three more runs in the seventh. Jordan Luplo, who made the opening day roster, doubled home the Tribe's first run in the seventh. Luplo and Max Maroff each drove in a run in the ninth. He started out slow, said Francona, referring to Luplo. He was pressing. I'm sure he'd admit it, the Indians finished the Arizona portion of spring training with a the 3rd of December 16 record. The will play the Rangers at Globe Life Park in Arlington, Texas on Monday and Tuesday.